of all the endless possibilities of things that could occur in this episode, the one thing I can be pretty sure on is that we're going to be going to Tokyo because the title's called Let's Go to Tokyo. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with season two. It feels so good to say that of Haikyuu. Don't worry, guys. I know a lot of you have said it took me so long to finish through season one, and I most definitely acknowledge your guys' feedback and criticism. I have not been holding up my end of the bargain. I've been just... I know I've been very busy and I had some hospitalization stuff months and months and months ago, but uh, I'm going to I'm gonna be better and we're all going to be pumping out videos. We're going to be loving it. I'm going to be loving Haikyuu. You're going to be loving Haikyuu. Remember, with the first and last episode of every season, the full length, which is normally available on Patreon only, is available to everyone for free. So click that link in the description and come back here for the review if that's your fancy. And if you guys like that format, format consider checking out the Patreon and being a patron forever. Well, the Dapper Squad is always welcome. We, it's Come on, guys. I appreciate you. It supports me oh so much. allows me to keep on doing this. Hopefully one day get an even a nicer place with a real studio. You know, it, we got dreams. We got goals. You guys are... You guys definitely help me with everything. It's immense. It's crazy. We ended off with a heartbreaking defeat, but with a hopeful hopeful upbeat boost in confidence so hopefully now when we're training for spring we can be up there we could be fire we could be amazing i'm just so excited so i say other than that we hop into this remember guys follow me on twitch and on twitter for the live streams and for the updates let's hop into this haiku season two it was actually weird to say that episode one man animations looking as crisp as ever bro they're always snapping. <laughs> hey, he's getting more used to it, man. He said get used to it already. He's, he's trying. He's trying. You could tell. I love it. Tsukushima? Tsukushima with his feints are disgusting. He's so nasty at that. He's just so damn tall. Yeah, right? He's so nasty with it. All right, Yamaguchi, my boy. Nice serve. Nice serve. That actually was a nice serve. Hey, you'll get there. So they're just playing scrims against each other. Practice matches. I love it. This is a good little scrimmage. I love that camera angle. That was a good stop. Ooh, that was a good save. That's a good hustle. They're not even falling down the, on the ground yet. Oh my god. I swear I've seen that gift somewhere, bro. They snapped on the animation. I can already tell this, this is about to be fucking. That was it. No, I'm saying these guys are. That's like, reminds me of some Hunter Hunter right there. Yep. What should you do? Good question. So whenever we have a problem, Takeda always comes to save the day. Always. Tokyo! Oh, that's Nekoma. I can tell Kenma's hair from a mile away. Oh, they are in Tokyo, aren't they? And he sneezed because someone was talking about him. I love that. Well, that's what I was seeing in the opening. We saw Nekoma and a bunch of other teams. The Fukuridani? Who's from the Kanto region? Whoa! We collecting all badges now? Collecting eight badges? Because of a coach of a of a steam because the word of a coach that's esteemed in that group. I like it. Yeah, over years and years. So the fact that we're being able to get in makes a lot of sense. Thank you, Nekomata. Bro. They're, they're, we're thinking the exact same, bro. I agree. This is an important part of volleyball, or at least any sports that I'm not even thinking about a lot. Having connections, being able to practice at the highest level. As they're talking about their players and how they're going to be better this time, they're going to... Got it. So, a little bit of training time, I'd assume. Going to Tokyo, practice, baby. That's my girl. 
Oh, lordy lord. Oh, they don't get to see third years too often. Yeah, because this is the first year area. That makes a lot of sense. There were people back in the day I knew in high school that tried to be in like the baseball magazines and stuff like that. So that's hilarious. That monthly volleyball. Nice. Good. We get to see a lot of the same people. Fuck yeah. Goya! What is going on? Is he whose quizzes are is he looking at? Are do we have some failures or going on? What's going on? Man, conditioning training and cardio, always my least favorite, but always what I needed the most, so I gotta get back into shape, man. Hey, hell yeah. That's a good captain. I love my man Daichi. Of course. Of course, they're zooming past fucking everybody. They said half dashes. They're going the full way. All the way up, up Heartbreak Hill. What the fuck? Come on. They ran for so long. Oh my. That was a fucking hilarious transition. How far did you guys run? How far did they run? He just happens to be out in a run too. He's get oh. Japan. He's up front with it. <laughs> he acknowledges something about you. Do as you like. That's a good point. Don't challenge them. He really is like full sprint striding for this. Yeah, he's at a super. And of course, he nods the mountain boy has infinite stamina. This is a huge school. Wow, you got signs at your campus for high school? Horses? <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Come on, you guys. He not just literally like a 10 year old. Oh, they're having a practice match too? I am curious. Wow, he knows what middle school. And he's the ace. He's the sole. Pro he probably has the sole most decision when it comes. To, when it comes to like decisions like that, right? Damn, that's a great compliment. Oh, yeah. Fully agree with that one. He's not wrong. So he's a very elite competitive person. If you're not amazing, if you're not first or last, pretty much, if you're not S tier, you're trash to him. Whereas he's looking at Kendaichi, Iwazumi, Watsuri, all the good players. Damn, he sees the fucking dead determination fucking in his eyes. What is that look? I have no idea. There's no way, bro. This kid... He's like lightning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Look at Kageyama, he's like, fuck yeah. From the concrete. You need good soil? I'm concrete, bitch. It's the worst soil you can think of, but guess what? I'm still gonna beat you and I'm gonna go to nationals. Hey, that's some respect that would have otherwise never been thrown on Karasuno's name. That was just thrown on Karasuno's name. I did notice their statue was like a bird. So we got the crow versus what are they? The eagle or the falcon? That is a fucking deadly winged fucking matchup right there. Look at that. That has to be an eagle, right? Or a falcon. I can't tell. That is fucking amazing. I also fully believe that he went that when he mean when he, I can't even speak right now. Oh, that was so cool. Kageyama Tomio. <laughs> he loves the challenge. Look at that. That's the craziest face we've ever seen this guy make. Tokyo is gonna be our our training arc, our power up arc, and then we're gonna go back and fuck. Sh Shiro Torizawa in the butt cheeks, man. Jesus, I'm so vulgar. Next month. All right, we got a month. That's what he was worried about, maybe, with the quizzes, maybe. They said, We got a new challenge. It's not just sports, baby. It's not just sports, baby. We're student athletes, know what I'm saying? Dude, oh. All right, so it's Ushijima. So I've been calling him, mispronouncing his name wrong the entire episode. I formally apologize for that. Um, but that was a fantastic first episode of a season. Way to relive the last season, but still get us hyped and realize what some of our end game goals are right now. We have to get better. Alba Josai and Shira Torizawa, gotta beat them to get the pre to in you know spring nationals spring prefectures to get into nationals but right now we're going to be training we're going to be going you know out of our prefecture we're going to tokyo where we got nekoma and a bunch of other schools that they regularly practice with but because we have a good word and you know the relationship of course between ukai and nekomata and because especially because nekoma nekomata just watched us at the preliminary oh no he didn't damn it it was alba josai who got a lot of lot of knowledge from us but uh um well especially because he, he already knows how fucking nasty we are and the potential of us at least that he would be like hey there's a new well not new team but as a team i think we should get into the rotation this time you know we'll change it up a little bit i like that i appreciate that and i like how making connections is big in sports because it's huge in sports it really is um it's crazy more than i know more than probably some of you guys know it's just it's, it's really insane um, Ushijima, insane this episode. I love how hyped he is for uh, Hinata. I love how Hinata was so ballsy and so crazy this episode. Uh, Takeda, awesome. Kyoko, beautiful as always. Can't wait to meet the new girl. Uh, Tanaka, Sugawara, Daichi, Asahi, always amazing. Nishinoya. I just can't wait to see more of the team, get some training, go to Tokyo. That's really what I'm looking forward to. I'm going to watch this next episode. We do have a question here on Discord. Remember, guys, if you guys ever want to ask me anything, uh, now would be the time where I answer it. So just check out that section in the Discord. I'll answer anything. This one comes from Itachi. He says, when you do four, it's nice and simple. I don't even really need to put it in here. When you do four episodes a week, will uh, Haikyuu be four episodes a week as well? And yes. And then when I also finish um, Don Machi after that, we're going to go down to two shows and it's going to be six episodes a week. So that's going to be a lot better. I cannot wait for that. Thank you again, Itachi, for the question. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to hop into the next episode. Have a great night, you guys.